Well, one of the most popular of the services provided by the uh, Cooperative Extension Service here in Allen County revolves around its uh, horticulture program. And with us today is Ricky Kemery, who is uh, one of the horticulture educators here at the Extension Service. And uh, Ricky, first of all, tell us a little bit about uh, the display that uh, we have in front of us. Uh, I understand this is uh, not necessarily some of your handiwork, but uh, uh, it involved a program that uh, you were uh, involved in. We were working with uh, Marie DeWald, who's one of the co-owners of DeWald Nursery up on uh, Lima Road. And she did a workshop for citizens and master gardener volunteers um, showing it's basically a new idea to create a, a winter arrangement using plants that are available in your own home landscape uh, to create uh, nice little centerpieces um, for indoors or even outdoors. Um, it was a very popular seminar where we had about 35 folks that came to learn this. And I think the neat thing about it is that this thing will last forever. Mm -hmm. So it's a, an inexpensive way to learn how to create your own holiday arrangements. Um, that's just one type of seminar that we offer here at the Extension Office. Uh, this spring, for example, we offered a series of seminars um, it was called the Victory Garden, and uh, we were teaching folks how to establish vegetable gardens, uh, raised bed gardens. That's been a big issue uh, this year and probably will continue into next year for folks sort of hurting from the economy. And there are, so there are about 30 to 40 percent more Americans now that are growing their own vegetables. They want healthy vegetables to grow, and they also want to try to save money. And that's what we're here in Extension to try to help people with the research-based information so that they can make good decisions that will save them time and money when they're establishing a vegetable garden or putting together arrangements. Uh, those are the types of issues that we address. In other words, don't just go out and start digging up your backyard to, uh, and planting seeds. There, there's more to it, a lot more to it than that. There is, and a lot of people do that, and then their, you know, their vegetables don't grow very well, and then they'll contact us and say, you know, my vegetables weren't growing very well, and we ask what they were doing. Uh, myself and about 350 Master Gardener volunteers are around constantly to try to help people make those decisions and do the things that are specific for our particular area. Each year, about 7,000 or more people call our Extension Office for gardening information in our gardening hotline here at the Extension Office. The Master Gardeners help me with that. And then each year, about 1,200 or more folks bring in actual samples of a sick uh, little pine or a spruce tree. Uh, they want to know what's going, what's wrong, and it's hard sometimes to, to know, especially uh, folks with limited resources like senior citizens, for instance. They have a spruce tree, and all of a sudden the needles are turning brown. They don't have a lot of places to turn sometimes, um, and so they come to us for the information. A lot of times when people get a hold of us or utilize our services, they'll say, I wish that I would have gotten a hold of you. I wish I would have called you first. Um, that's very rewarding, obviously, for us in Extension. We want to help people make good decisions. And these are programs uh, that are not necessarily geared just toward, say, the rural areas of Allen County. Uh, they're applicable to uh, the, the more densely populated areas, the urban areas as well. Yeah. We're here. To, to help all the citizens in Allen County, whether they live in the city or out in the county or out in the rural areas. And the lines often sometimes get blurred because there, you know, there's, there's so much demand for consumer horticulture information, whether or not you're getting ready to plant, you, you're an, a young couple that has you know, just purchased a home and they want help with what kind of landscape trees and shrubs are, are are applicable for their particular area, how to fix the soil, how to grow healthy food, all of those issues. Um, and that transcends whether or not they're living downtown or, or way out in the country. Now, do you folks make house calls? Or, I or do occasionally. Uh, what we usually try to do to save resources, at least for me, is we'll go through a process where they'll submit samples or pictures and I'll look at those, and occasionally it doesn't tell me the whole story. And so occasionally I will go out and do house calls. 
Uh, I try to string those together again to save time and resources. Those are some those actually that that those house calls are actually one of my favorite activities. I wish I could do it more, but unfortunately the demand is so high here at our office that if I go out and do a lot of those, then there's all kinds of stuff waiting for me when I come back. But I really do enjoy doing those, and oftentimes when I am at the site, I can see the story. I it's it's like I always tell my volunteers, it's like solving a mystery when you're trying to figure out what's going wrong. I know you and your volunteers also uh, go out in the community and uh, do a lot of seminars, a lot of talks uh, to uh, neighborhood groups, uh, civic organizations, to, to kind of uh, explain a little more about what you do. Our master gardeners, uh, the volunteers, I couldn't do the, the we couldn't do the work here without their help. Um, they do so many things. They do um, give seminars and workshops out in the community about a wide variety of issues. They uh, are significantly helping city and county parks with some of their programs. They um, help with senior citizen projects. They assist teachers in schools. Uh, there's almost no limit to the types of very meaningful and valuable activities that they do. And each year, uh, the Master Gardener volunteers in Allen County contribute over 15,000 hours of volunteer service to the community. In my opinion, they are uh, underappreciated because they do so much for so many different groups and, and organizations that we partner with in Allen County. Rick, Ricky, we appreciate your time and explaining more about uh, the horticulture program offered by the Allen County Extension Service. Thanks so much. Thank you. And folks, it's a great resource. If you have the opportunity to take advantage of it, we'd certainly recommend it.